Well, on my second cast, I've just had an almighty swirl and it bloody missed it. Literally only about 20 meters in front of me, halfway into that retrieve. Bass come up right behind the lure. Properly went for it, but completely missed it. And that is a really good sign though. Come on, I hope there's a few round here. So, I was right. It was a bass that went for the lure before because I've just hooked into one now. Now, I press record on this camera. I'm just resetting it, it's, it's frozen. So there we go, it should turn back on now. But yeah, just working the lure over the, over the surface. Kind of saw a fish come up, took a swirl for it, stopped the lure as I wound in, um, as I gave it another one or two winds of the reel, bang. And here we are, first bass of the session, probably about 10 casts in. It's about two pound, I'd say, that fish. Taking on the Pachenko 165. Now get him unhooked and get him back in the water. He definitely wasn't coming off, that's for sure. Just hooked in the corner of the mouth, but very well hooked. So here we go, first bass of the session. I'm absolutely stoked about that. Now I'm not gonna waste much time, I'm gonna get him back in the water. But what start that is. Well, I can tell you, these rocks definitely aren't the easiest for landing or returning fish. Oh. There we go, nose dive back in and he's swimming off nicely. So first fish of the session, well happy about that. Now I just said a couple of minutes ago, if I could get a fish early into the session, it would really boost my confidence. This is um, a spot which I know you get, you get some very good bass fishing here. Now I've never really put in the hours to really work the place out. Um, I've come down here on certain ties and never caught before, never actually caught a bass from this spot. So that was my first one. Now, as I said, second cast in, I had a big swell really close in. About two or three casts after that, I was just bringing the lure over some weed here and a fish came up, went for the lure, swam back down and seemed to come back up again. Now it looked quite dark. I think what it was, was a, a fairly big ballon wrasse, which was just scoping out the lure and trying to bat it out of the way. Um, about eight or nine casts after that, um, just working the lure over the top. Gone for a floating surface lure to start with today. I always like to put a floating surface lure on because you get indications if there's fish here. They'll come up and swell for the lure. Exactly what's happened today. Um, and yeah, that bass came up, hit it, I think, second time. So really happy about that. I'm gonna get the, the lure back in the water now and uh, hopefully we can find, find a couple more. Now I seem to be having a couple of issues with this camera on my chest it keeps freezing and turning itself on and starts recording itself turns itself off so i will try to get as much as i possibly can um, on it but if i'm missing anything like hookups or fish release or i don't know whatever i'm gonna hopefully go by the other camera and hope that picks it up so i'm gonna fire that lure back out there again I've not actually cast that far on this occasion. And then I'm just 
slowly working the lure in. I'm not rushing anything at all. I like to pause it every now and then. And let's hope that's not the only fish of the session. Now, I did think this lure might be a little, little too big maybe and possibly put the fish off, but if I've hooked one, hopefully I can hook some more. I've got a few different lures though with me, which I'm more than likely gonna, yep, there we go. Whoa, bloody hell, bloody hell. Oh. This could be an all right fish or it's possibly foul, but Jesus Christ. That right there is the exact reason why everybody bass fishes. It's getting takes like that. Oh, I got a long way down here. That fish is trying to turn. Oh, don't come off. Ugh. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Don't come off. Please do not come off. Oh my God. Oh, come on. That's a lovely fish. That is a beauty. Woohoo! Get in! I hope that turned out all right on this camera. That's the reason we all come bass fishing. That fish came up and just bang, absolutely smashed it. Now, at a look, it's over four pound. That's definitely a 60 centimeter. I'm gonna measure this and I've got my card with me because there's a competition going on at the moment, saltwater lure fishing group. I'll explain a little bit about it afterwards, but I'm gonna get this fish sorted out. That's a cracker, check this out. Look at that, that is a beauty. An absolute beauty. That's hooked, hooked almost identically to the first one. Now before I measure him, I'll give you a little show. Oh, he's not happy. Check that out. What an absolutely fantastic bass. An absolutely fantastic fish. You beauty. I'll try and get this on camera as best as I can. Now, please stay still. There we go. Let's pull that straight. 58. And I'll just take a picture of the front there just to prove the nose is on zero. But there we go, 58 centimetre bass. You absolute stunner. Now before I sort, before I sort the rest of my gear out, I'm gonna release this fish down here. So one last show. Let's get this fish back. Just gonna give him a second to revive because it's just been out the water a little bit. Go on mate, off you go that way. That's a fine fish. There we go, turn around the right way. It's just taking a second, obviously. You can see him just gliding. See that dorsal fin coming out the water. Fantastic. Oh my God, I'm absolutely over the moon. I think that was first cast back in after the, uh, the first fish. But that take was insane, insane. It just come up, no hesitation, wallop. A fine fish that, it's just taken a minute or so to go back, but it's gone back absolutely fine. Obviously I had it out of the water for a couple of minutes just to take a measure. Now it's 58 centimetres. Um, I'd definitely say it was over four pound, probably just over four pound. 
Um, but yeah, what a fine fish that was. Now, I'm gonna sort myself out a little and get a lure straight back in the water. This is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going back in. Now, if there's some more bass around here, that would be absolutely brilliant. However, I'm pretty happy so far. Let's chuck that lure out there again. I still can't believe the take on that. That was a, that was a, a quality take. Obviously, anyone who lure fishes for bass will love their top water fishing as well. And every bass you catch off the top is, is pretty special. But when they happen like that, and bear in mind, this is a heavy rod, and that's still put a proper bend in the rod. Really, really great fun. Absolutely great fun. And they just come out of absolutely nowhere as well. You never know how long they're following your lure for before they decide to strike. Now I'm still pretty sure, the first, the first swirl I had when I got here was definitely a bass. And I'm still pretty sure the second swirl I had just down here was in fact a, uh, a Ballon Rass. But at least I know there are bass here. And the only question is, how long will they be in this area for? We shall soon find out. Now again, I'm not really casting too far. Sort of every other cast, I'll put a bit more, uh, a bit more strength into it. When I'm casting straight ahead of me in this way, I'm not really casting um, any further than I normally would. Now you'll probably be able to see that over to my right, there's a reef. So when I chuck the lure that way, put a bit more behind it just to get it closer to that reef. And it's over shallower ground with loads of little gullies, so you really never know what could creep out of there. I've just watched the bass, I've just changed lure again to the pachinko and I just watched the fish, it was literally touching the lure, following it, swimming behind it and at first I thought, oh it's a wrasse, it wasn't, it was a bass and it followed it right into the weed there. But that is a good sign. Now I had about 10 casts with the, the, uh, the shad and it was absolutely dead so I decided to switch back to floating surface lure again. Now that's good to know because it's been quiet for a little bit and I was just beginning to think maybe the fish have moved off. They're definitely here, they're just spread out. So it's just going to be a case of uh, scanning around with the casts. Now that bass looked about a pound and a half, two pound so you never know, it could, could be put off by the size of the lure possibly, but it was definitely interested. Now what I'm doing, it may look like I'm just casting into the same area all the time, but I'm not. I'm starting this side, where all this rough ground is, it's a little bit shallower there as well. And then I'm just working my way around, and I'm going sort of about to there. I'm not really casting into that area. I've fished that area loads before, well, not loads, but quite a few times before and I've never had anything, so with all the action happening in this area that I'm fishing, I know I'm in the right spot and with catching fish, at least I know they're here. But I'm just scanning round. Every cast, I'll cast about 10 or 15 metres to my left and just work my way round. Oh, well, I had another swirl then. Now, do I downsize lure? I'm going to have one more cast with this, and then I'm going to put a smaller Pachenko on. And I'm pretty sure I've got a wind knot. That's not good.
So let's get this sorted out. Well, it will look like I've got some company. So I've come to the end of my session for the day now. What fun it's been, um, it's been an absolute blast. Now I will say over the last sort of 40 minutes or so, it had gone pretty quiet. However, the fella that turned up on the boat, he um, actually anchored right in the middle of that bit which I was fishing into. And I've just seen him catch two bass. They look pretty small, but it goes to show the fish are still there. However, he was casting away from me. So um, if I launched a lure, I could hit his boat but there's no way I was getting past that and obviously he was casting that way so it would seem that the bass are in that area at the moment. Now I've had quite a few follows, um, I've had quite a few swirls, quite a few follows. I downsized from the Pachinko 165 to the 140. Um, I also tried the Samson Shads but uh, yeah couldn't pick anything else up in the end. But to be completely honest with you, first bass I've caught in this particular particular mark, so I'm over the moon about that. I would have been happy just to catch one, um, to get that first one and then to get that nice second one as well. Uh, really was, yeah, brilliant stuff. So I'm going to leave the video at there. I've got a fair few steps to hike up, hike up these cliffs now, but um, it's all been worth it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, maybe picked up one or two tips, who knows. But uh, yeah. Before that plane comes over me, um, I'll say thank you very much for watching the video. Please hit that like button if you like it. Subscribe to the channel, there's plenty of bass fishing on there. And I'll see you on the next one. That's a lot of steps. <laughs>